Science 5, Week 8, Quarter 2, The Need to Protect and Conserve Estuaries and Intertidal Zones. Like other ecosystems, estuaries and intertidal zones needs to be protected because of the presence of organisms that are dependent on their unique conditions. Our country is rich in different forms of ecosystem because of the presence of many rivers and long shore lines. Like the Manila Bay, which has both intertidal zones and estuaries, humans should do actions that will not destroy but support the interactions of the organism living in the area. There are a lot of ways of taking good care of the environment. For our first learning task, draw a smiley face on the action or activity that help protect and conserve the estuaries and intertidal zones. For number one, planting trees. Two, disposing garbage properly. Three, restricting fishing activities for banning recreational birding. Number five, avoiding oil leaks. Six, feeding the fish. Seven, taking a bath with shampoo. Eight, collecting starfish. Nine, removing sea urchin. And ten, cleaning up the rivers. And these are the correct answers. For number one, happy, two, happy, three, happy, four, happy, five, happy, six, happy, seven, sad, eight, sad, nine, sad, and ten, happy or smiley. For learning task number two, the diagram shows both food chain and food web in stories. Food chain is a series of transfer of Energy as the algae can be eaten by small fish and small fish can, uh, may be eaten by a carnivorous fish. A food web is composed of different food sheets. What do you think are the activities that may negatively affect the process of energy transfer or transfer? About 90% of energy may be lost as heat or release during respiration through movement or in materials that the consumers does not digest. The energy stored in undigested materials can be transferred to decomposers. For learning task number four, now that you know the importance of estuaries and intertidal zones, a student, you can do your part in protecting and conserving them. To show your support to the program entitled Save Manila Bay, in the bank paper, make a poster indicating your proposed actions in cooperation and collaboration with your classmates. And that ends our lesson for week 8 or the last lesson in quarter 2, science 5. Thanks for watching and happy learning!